Here's a funny story. For XYZ reason, I am digging deeper into Neville's lectures and using it, testing it rather, on people and circumstances. Needless to say, it works perfectly. And as Neville says, the stronger the conviction the faster it works. Why? Because conviction is inversely proportional to doubts, and desperation and the need to have it now. So, there's this guy I fell for at 18. Manifested him in and out of my life multiple times, but never truly believed he'd date me. I did the opposite of what Neville says and I dwelled on my flaws. But here's the thing. I have to come to understand what everyone as you pushed out means. Truly. First, with my mom. My first SP is my mom and I have had a rocky relationship for at least four years now. Changed like magic. What did I do? Mental diet. Also, I had trouble understanding the concept of mental diet for so long. It is basically your internal narration of how the world is. Change it. Flip it. Every time you flip the mental diet to a positive one, you give someone a new script to read. You might not see it instantly or you might. Again, depends on your faith and I am over the 3D. Second, with an XSP. I think I initially became a part of the SP crowd many many years back because of him. Snowballed from Law of Attraction coaches on YouTube to Neville Goddard. Goddard's ideas and teachings were so foreign at the time. Anyway, because of my focus on the 3D and the blocks and because of all my notions about my story with this person, things would never really move forward. But every time I manifested it back it was when I least expected to. Anyway, last week, while doing Joseph Eli's list method, I manifested a message from this person. Mind you, I had given up on us a long time back and because of the cordial relation we have now, we last spoke in June 2021. So, on my list, I had randomly written receiving a nice happy message from this person. Within a week, I did. And guess what? I gave him a new script. The script of him putting me on the pedestal this time around. And boy, works like magic. He's kinda obsessed now. Do I feel guilty? No, the god in me is loving. He is love. He will bring about all my desires without harming anyone. We see the good in others and the flaws in ourselves in the name of humility, or whatever it is. But the thing is we can be confident and self-reliant without being arrogant. It is true. Our desire is the experience that God wants to live through us. Don't take the power away. Also, in my opinion, all bad desires and actions come as part of reaction to the 3D. But the 3D is only a shadow world which is why circumstances never matter. Never. Techniques I use. Read Neville. Soak every word in. Sats. Watch Eli's videos if I needed clarity. Or even Amanda's. Do the work. Persist and have faith. Remember if you feel down. The darkest hour of night is just before dawn. Express gratitude throughout the day and also Tom Dow's meditations are a game changer for me. Self-concept for me is just assumptions and working on mental diet and my belief system. See what works for you. I also stay away from media of any kind. Movies, news, social media. I watch cute dog and cat videos on YouTube all day. But my advice is, make notes when reading Neville and go over them often. Check what works for you. But mostly read Neville. Creation is finished. Everything is possible. Bask in your assumption. And lastly, I never share my desire with anyone. That is between me and God. That's it. You already know what you have to do. Don't look for confirmation here. Test it. Do the work. Neville says he failed when his conviction wasn't so strong that it overruled the 3D. Your one job is to assume a state and remain in it. Hard but gets better with practice. Also, I never let go. But I don't obsess. It will happen when the divine time is right. Desire. Assume. Belief. 